Item. SCP-972. Object Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-972 is to be housed in a standard humanoid containment chamber. Requests for additional furnishings or amenities are to be submitted to Dr. Lauf and may be granted so long as they do not violate Foundation security protocols. All personnel physically interacting with SCP-972 must pass infectious disease protocol. Foundation SOP 89B. Prior to working with the anomaly, any and all contact with SCP-972 should take place in a manner that limits potential vectors of disease transmission for SCP-972-1. Should physical contact be deemed necessary, all personnel should don Class V infectious hazard gear to limit potential spread of SCP-972-1. Description. SCP-972 is a human male of Turkish descent. Formerly known as Ahmet Osman, approximately 23 years of age, standing 1.75 meters in height and weighing approximately 130 kilograms. In most respects, SCP-972 demonstrates baseline human qualities, with the notable exception of its mutualistic relationship with SCP-972-1. SCP-972-1 is an anomalous double-stranded DNA reverse transcriptase, DSDNART, virus that most resembles members of the Hypadnaviridae 1 family. SCP-972-1 has a uniquely limited natural host range that is believed to solely consist of SCP-972. SCP-972-1 possesses a unique reproductive life cycle that enables it to remain in nuclear capsid form for long periods of time within the host cells of SCP-972, essentially enabling it to remain dormant for long periods of time without being degraded by the host. The presence of SCP-972-1 has been found in nearly all cells comprising SCP-972 with the sole exception of germline reproductive cells, that is, sperm, indicating that SCP-972-1 is capable of using nearly any somatic cell type within SCP-972 as a host. Further SCP-972-1 reproduction occurs upon host cell contact with non-infected somatic cells causing the proliferation of SCP-972-1 within the original host cell before the virus is released onto the new host cell, resulting in its infection. SCP-972's primary anomalous effect triggers upon infection of SCP-972 by foreign viral or bacterial agents. In both cases, SCP-972-1 is believed to act in order to eliminate hostile foreign infection and preserve the host cell in question. Upon contact with bacteria during infection, SCP-972-1 causes the host cell to overstimulate lysosome activity, creating hydrolytic enzymes that rapidly destroy all phagocytized bacteria. A similar mechanism of action is seen to occur during viral infection which results in destruction of infectious viral particles. The means by which SCP-972-1 is able to recognize hostile activity is unknown. SCP-972-1 has shown the capability to recognize and destroy anomalous viruses such as those generated by SCP-1242, indicating that its recognition method is non-mundane. The consequence of SCP-972-1's anomalous activity is such that SCP-972 is effectively immune to all known forms of infectious disease. Any introduction of infectious diseases to SCP-972 results in complete destruction of the disease within a period ranging from 24 hours to 1 week, depending on the reproductive potential of the disease in question. During this period, SCP-972 experiences minor symptoms found in common diseases such as elevated body temperature, reduced appetite, and overall lethargy, but otherwise demonstrates no symptoms of the specific disease that it was infected with.